Hi guys, so today I'm here with a quick review for you. We're going to be going over the Sephora Sun Safety Kit, which looks just like this. It is a limited edition set. It's double-sided and it retails for $32. These went on sale a couple days ago and they are selling out like crazy. They're no longer available online as they have sold out there, but you can still get them in stores. So I'd recommend just calling the store before you drive down there. But if you, if you can get your hands on one of these, it's an amazing kit. I highly recommend it. And what I really love about it is that $20 of every purchase for these goes straight to the Skin Cancer Foundation. So it's for a good cause. So let's jump right in and see what's inside. Okay, so we're going to go through everything one side at a time, starting with the first side. And the first thing I was super excited to see is this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Now, this is a deluxe size sample, but I am so excited to try this product. It smells like chocolate heaven. Like, to put this on your face, I feel like I just want to like, constantly, like, lick my face if I put this on. It is a really pretty color. It looks like this. And the full size, I believe, retails for about $30, if I'm not mistaken. It's just a really nice, light, natural, like, tan color to put on your face. It blends really well. And the cocoa powder actually has natural antioxidants in it, which is really good for your skin. And then next up in here is the Murad Oil Control Mattifier with SPF 15. I am super excited to try this. I get so oily in the summer. It is seriously just gross. So the fact that this is a mattifier is going to really help me out this summer. And then next up is the Peter Thomas Roth's Roth, not Ross, <laughs> Max Sheer All Day Moisture Defense Lotion. Um, it says clinical skin care. It has vitamins A, C, E, and pro vitamin B5. So that's cute. And I love Peter Thomas Roth products. So it's really cute little pump bottle, a deluxe size sample. Again, that's what all of these are, deluxe size samples. It's really cute. I wonder how it smells. Sometimes I hate the way sunscreen smell. Like they just make me, ugh. It just kind of has like a regular like SPF smell. No big deal. Um, okay, so next is the Stila Stay All Day 10 in 1 HD Beauty Bronzing Balm. Well, that's kind of neat. It has SPF 30 in it and it's water resistant. It says apply to clean skin, use alone or follow with a Stila foundation or tinted moisturizer for complexion perfection. Um, and it says water resistant for up to 80 minutes, which is neat. And who doesn't love a bronzer? I actually tried something like this at, I want to say Victoria's Secret, like one of their bronzing shimmer creams or something. I really liked it, but it was so expensive I refused to pay for it. Um... Wow, that is really pigmented. Okay, so I just put a ton of it right there. It literally looks like I just kind of self-tanned my hand. Now, it blends out pretty well. But this would be awesome for, like, your legs, I think. I don't know if I'd put it on my face just because it is a tad bit orange. But for your legs, I think it would really give them a nice glow. Um, so I'm really excited to try that. And then next up is something I've been dying to get, but I just haven't ordered it yet. Because um, I'm kind of going through, like, a test of, like, self-tanners of testing all different ones. Um, and this is the Tarte Brazilians Skin Rejuvenating Maracuja Self Tanner. It looks like this. Um, I saw this on Tarte.com. I've also seen it at Ulta a bunch of times. And of course, it's Sephora. And it just looks so pretty. And uh, I think Tati from Glam Life Guru talked about this on her channel. And she showed like a swatch of it. And it looks so gorgeous. Now, it does look really dark. It's kind of intimidating when it comes out of the bottle, if you can see that. But when you blend it in, it just gives a really nice natural glow. Like, you can't even tell that I'm wearing anything. It just looks that like my hand is like. A little bit tanner than it was two seconds ago um, so don't be intimidated by the color if you do pick this up it does have a really nice fresh smell it kind of smells like beachy almost like coconuts um, and then next up is the Clarins Paris UV plus HP sunscreen multi protection so just a little sunscreen I would definitely use this on my face of any of the products just because Clarins is a skincare line so I'm sure this is formulated really well and then we have the Dr. Dennis Gross. Is it Gross or Gross? I seriously never know. I hear, I've heard it pronounced so many ways. But I'm just going to call it Dr. Dennis Gross because Gross just sounds mean. And this is the Alpha Beta Glow Pad Anti-Aging Exfoliating Self-Tanner with Active Vitamin D. Well, that's a mouthful. Um, but it says, apply evenly to clean dry skin in a circular motion wherever color is desired. Wash hands immediately after use. I've never used these, but I have used the ones by the brand Tan Towel, and I absolutely love them. So this is great if you're not wanting to have to go in the sun to actually get a tan. And then this one is also by Dr. Dennis Gross, and it is the Glow Alpha Beta Daily Glow Moisturizer. And one of the things that people do not realize is that whether you have a fake tan or you are sitting out in the sun getting a real tan, the moisture in your skin is what's going to keep it there. If you do not moisturize your skin, you're going to get flaky, you're going to get dry, and it's just going to be miserable, I promise you. So make sure to moisturize no matter what kind of tanning you're doing. And that is all for the first side. So now on the second side, the first thing up is the Ole Henriksen protect the truth spf 50 so i think this is just a regular spf for your face maybe this lightweight oil-free sunscreen is sure to protect the truth blah 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 after cleansing and toning apply your first step massage an even layer into the face and neck okay so this one is specifically for your face and neck which is kind of what i thought um 
The SPF 50 is a little high for your face, I think, but it's really nice and it's actually recommended by the Skin Cancer Foundation. It has their little seal of approval right here. So that's really neat. And I love Ole Hendrickson. I use their um, Truth Brightening Serum almost every day. So definitely excited to try that product. And then in this cute little package is the Bare Minerals Touch-Up Veil. I've never tried Bare Minerals Touch-Up Veil. I've tried their foundations once a really long time ago. They made me super oily. Ooh. So I just stopped using them, um, but I've never tried the veil, but I've tried, I've heard really good things about it. So I'm excited to try this. When you open it up, it's a really light, like translucent veil is what it is, obviously. Hi. Um, but it just says, hello. I don't know if you can see that. I want to blind you guys with the mirror. I mean, it's really pretty and the packaging is really neat. Like the texture of this is awesome. Um, what I like about this is that it has SPF 15 in, in case you can't guess everything in this package is either SPF or to self tan you without having to go in the sun. Um, so the SPF broad spectrum 15, titanium dioxide, your natural sunscreens. Um, and it just says bare minerals ready and it's a cute little package. It's actually a really nice sample size, which I appreciate. And every time I open this thing, something falls out of it. <laughs> so now it's literally just the translucent powder and the pad and the little protective clear thing here. Somewhere on the floor now. So the next thing in here is the, oh wow, Saint Tropez Bronzing Mousse. I have heard so many girls on YouTube talk about this and I just haven't tried it just because it always looks really dark and I am really fair skinned. Um, however, now that I have it, I don't see why I can't give it a try. You know, kind of get my bronze on. And worst case scenario, I'm gonna scrub it off if I don't like it, right? Um, but I've heard a lot of great things about this. A lot of girls on YouTube rave about it. And it's just, it looks like a really natural color tan as opposed to a lot of self tanners where they look orangey. This one looks like it's almost like an olive or um, a green, more bit, a more green base, just so it doesn't give that orangey effect. So I'm definitely going to try that out and I'll let you guys know what I think. And then also in here is the Origins A Perfect World White Tea Moisturizer. I am so excited. I used to have this a really long time ago from Origins and then I don't know what happened to it, if it got lost when I moved or if I accidentally tossed it one day or what happened, but I love the way this stuff smells. Like white tea is not something that they put in a ton of stuff, but when they do, it, ugh, I seriously just can sit there and smell it all day long. Like it just smells like heaven. Oh, I love it so much. I'm seriously gonna use this all up in like a day, which is gonna make me sad and then I'm gonna have to go buy the full size one so I can be happy again. <laughs> but. Awesome little product, love that. And then also in here is like my Holy Grail lip treatment. Um, and yes, I already have one in the full size. You've seen me talk about it in previous videos, but it is the Sugar Fresh Lip Treatment. I have the full size one. The full size one retails for $22.50. I think this one retails, they used to sell them online. I think it was like $10. And last year or the year before, Sora actually did these as like the free gift for your birthday. Um, but I always want little ones to keep in my purse just because they're so moisturizing and oh, I just love them. Like it's clear translucent, obviously you can't see that, but it makes your lips so moisturized and so hydrated. Like even if you have the most chapped lips in the world, this will make the biggest difference on your lips. It will seriously heal them overnight. Like every night I put a big layer of, of it on before I go to bed and in the morning my lips are like perfection. It's amazing. And then we have the Shiseido Ultimate Sun Protection Cream Broad, broad hi, Bod. Broad spectrum SPF 50 for face, water resistant up to 80 minutes, and it is just a regular little sunscreen and a cute little, little, little tube like that. I've never tried anything from Shiseido, um, so I don't know, we'll see. I don't really know what to say about that one. And then we also have the Super Goop Sun Defying Sunscreen Oil with Meadow Foam, broad spectrum SPF 50. I really like, okay, this is gonna sound dumb. I've never actually tried Super Goop, but I love their packaging. I think their little logo is just like the cutest thing ever and like the name itself, like Super Goop, like doesn't that just sound super cute? Um, so I'm really excited to try this and it has four, one, two, three, four, five different types of sunscreen in it. So you are really covering all your spectrums up in there. Um, it says helps prevent sunburn if used as directed with other sun protection measures, decreases this risk of skin cancer and early skin aging caused by the sun. So it looks really cute. It's just a cute little like pump bottle I'm assuming it's going to foam, even though it says it has metal foam in it. It obviously is a liquid, so when you pump it, I'm assuming it's gonna turn into like an easy to apply foam, which would be really neat. And then last in the package is the Algenist with Algoronic, yeah. Algenist with Algoronic Acid. It says Regenerative Anti-Aging Moisturizer with SPF 20. And this is actually a nice little sample size. It looks just like this. I've heard of Algenist. I've never tried anything from them, but there's a first time for everything, right? Watch me almost spill that all over myself. It smells really light and fresh and it doesn't have like a super sunscreeny scent to it, which I don't usually like. When things smell like nothing but SPF, it just kind of irritates me. Um, I want another scent in there besides SPF. Like I just want to smell floral or fruit or something other than chemicals. So 
this should be nice this has a really nice light fresh scent uh, it says biotechnology from san francisco i'm i'm from california so hey um but that's all that was in the kit and then of course once you're done emptying it you get this cute little bag to keep and it's just kind of like a canvas woven yeah like a woven canvas with like this cute little pink sun kind of printed all over it and then it obviously has these clear pockets in the front so this will be like a really cute makeup bag or especially if you're traveling with liquids this will be great as well um retails for 32 dollars and its retail value is 177 so all those products for only $32 I think is an amazing price and when you consider that of that purchase $20 is going straight to the Skin Cancer Foundation I think it's just an awesome kit I'm super excited to play with all of these products I think they're all really good size which I appreciate because sometimes you get samples and they're seriously like you get two drops out of it and then it's done so these are all really nice size so I'd highly recommend picking up this kit if you can get your hands on it I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you next time